Hello, welcome. I'm Angela, your host, uh, the Interlocking Loops uh, Floss Tube Channel, episode number two. It is February 17th of 2019. Welcome one and all. I thought I would start this episode by talking a little bit about another craft. Uh, I may have mentioned in the last uh, floss tube that I'm involved in very, very many crafts, one of which is knitting. And at this point, you can see what I'm wearing. It's actually called the Dalen Pullover by Isabel Kramer. You can find the pattern on Ravelry. And um, I just thought I'd mention that. Um, let's get on with the show. I thought I would show uh, prior finished uh, objects. They're not fully finished. As you know, I kind of have an Achilles heel when it comes to that and have difficulty getting that done. But I thought I would show how I varied the very first pattern that got me back into cross stitching. And this is the Farmhouse Christmas, the Little Red Barn by Little House Needleworks. And I change it up just a little bit. Uh, the colors of the sheep are not the same as in the pattern. If you have the pattern, you'll know that. Uh, it's on 14 count Ada Toast colorway. I have a uh, natural colored sheep, uh, which means not a one of them has is white. Um, and that enables me uh, to have uh, yarn spun or roving made into various colors of gray all the way to black. And um, part of my animals have spots and I changed up the pattern to kind of reflect the first couple that we purchased. And uh, I thought that might be fun for you to see a little bit about uh, my very first, my big inspiration in getting back to cross stitch. I thought I'd show another uh, finished piece the biggest piece I have finished to date, I joined the Tis the Season Sal, uh, a Blackbird Designs pattern. And it's on 18 count Ada by Picture This Plus this in Sterling. This is my first time stitching with 18 count and I did one over one. I have the gals at Black Cat Stitchery to thank for assisting me with the fancy floss. It was my first time using any type of fancy floss. If you're curious about the exact colors um, and brands of the fancy floss, I encourage you to check my blog. It's much more simple uh, than a lot of the floss tube blogs and it's www.interlockingloops.com and you'll be able to scroll down in my history and find that. Um, but I enjoyed that stitch quite a bit and I'm hoping eventually to have that framed. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the patterns I was working on last time. I had a couple that were almost finished. Uh, one of them was by Lizzie Kate, Tiny Tidings, number 186. And it's, uh, the stitching has been completed. This is on 14 count Ada, Coffee Tea Dyed by Me. And I thought that came out pretty well. Um, then I had another one um, by the Primitive Hair. If you remember the uh, Valentine, I believe it's a freebie. And what I did is I have it on uh, 8 o'clock, 14 count opalescent. And I used one of the variegated from DMC and stitched it with that. Um, and I thought it came out really well. So I'm hoping to use some more of this opalescent uh, to be able to uh, do some Valentine stitches that yes, I realize Valentine's is over, but some of us are continuing to stitch on those kind of things as we have the inspiration. Um, our weather outside still acts like January as it's snowing yet again today. Um, so, you know, go with what you want to stitch, I say. Another one that I don't recall that I had finished, but I, I know I had mentioned, it's on 18 count Ada, one over one as well, um, was the January Wordplay by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais, and it's finished. I'm very proud of that. I will be making that into a pillow at some point. Since that time that we talked last, I have done quite a bit of stitching. Um, I've been finding some time in the mornings and a little bit of time in the evenings to stitch and I was able to finish um, another Brenda Gervais pattern, the With Thy Needle and Thread uh, wordplay for February. 
I changed up some of the colors a little bit. Both of these, as well as um, all of the word plays, I'm going to convert most of those to DMC. And I have done so on this as well. So I'm pretty pleased with how that came out. Uh, I lightened it up just a little bit. I don't remember on this next one if I had actually started this uh, at the time that I did the first floss tube. It's a Lazy Kate pattern. It's Mary String. And it's a long, narrow pattern. I decided to stitch this on some 14 count 8 o'clock that I have hand dyed myself. And here's how it came out. I did change up the colors a little bit. Let's see. Um, there was a real light uh, turquoise that's called for Island Breeze uh, in the Weeks Dye Work colorway. In DMC it's 598. In Anchor it's 1062. But it matched so well with the fabric that it didn't show up. So I needed to use something darker. And I went with uh, 3846 in DMC. A nice bright color. Um, I did switch out when some of the different um, letters and things called for a certain color. I kind of switched those out and switched those around a little bit to suit the colors I liked. But overall I used the DMC uh, equivalents of what they suggested. Since we talked, yes, Valentine's Day did come and go. Um, and because I was hoping to uh, do a little bit of stitching, a little bit of Valentine's Day stitching, I also did a little bit of sewing. And I made a project bag uh, with lots of hearts. Um, and the neat thing, I ordered another Bitsy Bob from That's So Kelly Co. And it came as well. And that's what I've been using. Uh, the Mary String has been living in that. And now, what's living in that particular envelope, or rather goes back in that envelope, is the next Lizzie Kate that I am trying to work with. And one of my lights blew out, so the lighting's going to be slightly different, but we're going to go on with the show. And this is the Snowy String Pattern by Lizzie Kate. And I debated on what color fabric to use. I had some um, off-white and some coffee tea dye to try to use. I decided in the end, I really like this hand dye that I, I had and I did have more of that. So I was able to start that as well. So I've got a good, a good start on it so far. I have joined the February I Love to Stitch Challenge, trying to stitch at least 30 minutes out of every day. And I missed the first two days, but uh, some of these strings have been good to kind of see your progress. Um, I've been trying to stitch a little bit more than 30 minutes each day and kind of do the before and after pictures. Um, but that's been kind of fun and very motivational for me to try to get those done. All right, let's see. Hopefully I have that done by the next time we get together. Um, other things that um, I have done um, since we talked last, I have a few acquisitions. Um, I've been to Hobby Lobby and I'm thinking spring. The weather may not be thinking spring. Um, it's probably pretty glary to look over my shoulder, but that's because most of it looks like snow out there. And um, I bought several uh, checked fabrics from Hobby Lobby. Um, a quarter of a yard uh, for a variety of different colors for eventually the finishing I'm going to do. Everything from blue, a black check. Everybody loves a red check. That's good for lots of different seasons. A nice pink check for Valentine's. A lighter blue check. A darker pink check. When you can't decide, <laughs> to go with a little of everything. We have a navy check. An orange. A nice spring green and lastly a yellow. So I bought a quarter yard of each one of those to eventually work on some of the finishing. I find the thought of finishing kind of stressful and I'd hope to get something fully finished today. 
Um, I wasn't able to do that because I couldn't make up my mind. I felt a little bit pressured. So hopefully on the weeks I don't do a floss tube, I can maybe try to fully finish something and um, use up some of these fabrics. As far as other purchases I've made, um, if you listen to the Fiber Talk podcast, Vaughn was on here not too long ago talking about the needles she liked best. And I've purchased some of those uh, from the Cottage Needle. And these are Stitchy Pop needles in uh, a couple different sizes. So I'm hoping to give those a try uh, here soon. If you don't subscribe to that podcast, it's a nice one to kind of play uh, instead of the radio when you're driving to and from work. At least that's what I've experienced. Also, uh, other purchases I have made, I bought some cross-stitch books that are German. Um, you know, you get a chart. Uh, you don't necessarily need to be able to read the German to be able to figure out the chart. Um, I purchased, these are all uh, Christiane Dahlbeck patterns. Um, and I bought three of those books. They have the cutest patterns. And this is the third one. I'll show you a little bit of the pictures why I fell in love with these. And these were all purchased through the French Needle. I need to find one that's maybe a good representation. Um, this one has a lot of wedding type things in it. I don't know how well this will show up. But it's a wedding couple. It's absolutely adorable. Um, let's see. Here's another one that has a heart. And let's see, these other books. Okay, uh, let's look at this right here. See those two little adorable bunnies? I hope that's coming out clear, but it, they're absolutely adorable. And that's only the beginning of the cute patterns in here. I thought they were fairly reasonable for how many patterns there were. And if we look at just the, the first pattern that's on the front of this one, a cute little bunny. I oh, thought that was adorable. I see different stitchers talking about their unicorn pattern. Mine isn't so much... Uh, unicorn pattern as much as it's a unicorn book by the same designer and her name is spelled C R C excuse me C H R I S T I A N E E D A A H L B E C K. The specific book I'm looking for, if anyone is able to locate that, and I did write it down, but I must get my extra eyeballs on. The book's entitled, and I'll spell that J A H. R-E-S-Z-E-I-T-E-N. I've tried to look online to try to find that uh, pattern book of hers. Haven't had any luck so far, but if anybody can give me any leads on it, please comment in the down bar um, and kind of let me know if there's somewhere I can, I can purchase that. Um, I'd be thrilled to do so. As far as other things I'm hoping to work on, um, I would like to do a few more quick Valentine's patterns. Uh, the hands-on design Love is Kind chart that she released, as well as her love pattern from a few years ago. Um, and you can check her blog for these freebies that she has. Here, for example, is the love one. I think most of you have seen that. So those will be quick stitches I would like to get finished, started and finished as well as the uh, March Wordplay uh, by Brenda Gervais. I'm not even sure what fabric. I know it'll be 18 count, and I'll probably lighten up the colors a little bit as well going with DMC as I have the other ones to try to get that started. Um, another one, the Lizzie Kate uh, Spring String, for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with that. I watched Priscilla and Chelsea's uh, The Housewives of Cross Stitch uh, video today and how uh, Priscilla finished the one she did and I'm kind of looking at her colors as a good suggestion and maybe a guide to go with the colors I might use. 
she went with a kind of what looks like kind of a light gray fabric and I plan on using a 14 count I've actually dyed a model light gray I dyed that earlier and that's actually drying at this time um, I also plan on dyeing um, some fabric in a light green that may work out for another spring project uh, another thing that I hope to get um, the floss on bobbins for is a Little House Needleworks cherries, farm fresh cherries pattern. That's really cute. I think um, the Facebook group by Little House Needleworks, I think this one's something that they're going to have a stitch along starting in March. So I have the DMC equivalents uh, already chosen. I do not have the fabric picked, but that's coming. That Give me a little bit of time. I can get that job done. Um, as far as this episode, as I look around, I feel like I've covered about everything. I know it's another short episode. Most of mine will be fairly short. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, um, as well as give me some feedback. We are working on some sound issues to try and improve the sound quality. Um, clearly the lighting was only a was kind of a fail as it the bulb burned out or something as we're sitting here but um, this is real life and here we go um, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to hear more about my journey and I appreciate all the views that have comment and um, have been so welcoming so far to floss tube and until we meet again happy stitching bye